Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today I'm on set with Coach RJ and he will show us what one day's worth of meal prep would look like. Are you ready? We're gonna go through a one day meal prep here with Coach RJ, guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun. When it comes to food, food has to be nutritious. It has to hit my macros, but most importantly, it can't bog me down. So as you see here, all the food that I have prepped, this is everything that I eat in one day is simple, but it gives me high protein. It gives me the adequate amounts of carbs, the good carbs. There's basically no sugar. I probably consume 20 grams of sugar a day and you hit all the nutrients that you need to live a healthy lifestyle. So I always start my day with a coach's shake. The coach's shake is a combination of protein to get your protein up. It's, I like to use Nutella. I mean, you gotta treat a little bit, right? I love the taste of Nutella, adds like a mocha flavor to it. And then I do a combination of decaf and actual coffee. So this is instant coffee, instant decaf. I do a little bit of coffee because of the fact that I like to microdose. I'm very sensitive to caffeine. I don't want a lot of highs and lows, especially if I got to go and coach in the morning and then I got my meetings in the afternoon and then I might have to go back and work out. I don't want to be completely exhausted. So I always start my day with liquid calories. The second thing that I eat is a big batch of spinach and I like to freeze the spinach because you can actually put more volume into the cup. So I buy this big bag and I go through a bag like this once a week. This is 1.13 kilos or 40 ounces. The third meal, middle of the day, in and around 2.30 after I've had my meetings, I've already done my coaching. The last thing I got to do in the evening is go work out and hang out with the family. So that's the time where I relax around 2.30, 3.30 and I love what we call candy chicken. So there's a Filipino mix that we put in here, which is called Mamacita mix. And we just marinate it, as you can see here. My beautiful wife, Neri, has been marinating these chicken thighs for me. And we got this recipe from Hawaii. So anytime we go to Hawaii, we go to a restaurant called l and &L. Now I've done the research on the macros on the l and &L, and it's gonna be a little tough going back this year, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is my second meal. And I always pair it with rice. So for me, because of my ethnicity, I grew up on rice. Rice is a simple carbohydrate for me. It, uh, it gives me the feel that I need for my brain, but it also refills my muscles, gives me what I need. And then most importantly is the kale salad, okay? And if you've ever tried these bag salads, they are phenomenal. So they already come with the, the, the salad dressing and they already have the mix. I'll eat one of these bags every two days. So I'll probably take half of this and I'll put that on a plate and uh, I'll usually, usually use half a, a one of these, which is about three ounces when I weigh it. So that's my actual meal of the day. And I'll usually pair it with my good old friend Zevia. So Zevia, if you're out there, hit me up. Let's do a sponsorship. I'm always good for that. But I love the colas or I love the, the root beers, okay? Any one of the root beers are fantastic. But I'll give you a little tip, Fit Fam. Always have these cold. Do not put them on ice, have them cooled, not frozen. If you freeze them, they turn to ice chunks, they don't taste the same. You have them warm, they basically have no flavor, so they have to be chill, okay? Now when it comes to snacks, the big snacks that I love, and I've just gotten into the kick of these, is dried edamame beans. So if you've ever had popcorn, and you've had the popcorn kernels that are slightly popped, but not like super chewy and unpopped, so they're slightly popped, they provide that crunch, okay? Now I buy the unsalted ones, because I'm gonna be honest with you, they're five bucks cheaper, okay? So if you go to Amazon, they're five bucks cheaper for the edamame, but I'll tell you this, if you look at the macros on these on the back, phenomenal, right? I'm a big believer in fiber. I hit anywhere from 40 to 50 grams of fiber. I have the perfect poops, okay? So what do I mix the edamame bean? I mix it with these stevia, Krizda chocolate chips, okay? So this is 100% plant-based, okay? And it's sweetened with stevia. And if you know about stevia, it's a plant, okay? And these are five grams of fiber for 15 grams. I usually do about 30 to 60 grams a day. In here, you're gonna see 30 grams and you're gonna see 50 grams of edamame beans. This is about 330 calories. For me, I have to consume quite a bit of calories just because I wanna maintain my muscle, plus I'm pretty active. So if I'm cutting, I'll be in and around 2,000, 2,500 calories. But if I'm in a stage where I wanna maintain my muscle, maybe put on a little bit more muscle, I'd be anywhere from 3,000 to 3,500 calories, and that's quite a bit, okay? 
And of course, we can't forget about the Nary's bars. Nary's bars, when again, I'm trying to maintain or if I'm trying to put on a little bit of size, two, but on an average day, one, ooh, they hit the spot. Now my last snack that I enjoy are these babies. If you've ever had these, we had these at church. They gave it to the kids as a sample. Oh, fantastic. Like they are absolutely fantastic. Now here's the thing. You have to weigh these things, okay? Now we all love chips and I say eat your chips. I love these things. I could eat this whole bag in one sitting. Anything that I eat always goes on the scale first, okay? I always weigh everything. Unless it comes pre-packaged like this, these two are usually a pair. So this is my high protein. I love the taste of these. They're a little bit more expensive than if you just bought the powdered protein, but they're just so simple. I pop them in the fridge. If I'm out on the go, I'll take one with me, but usually these two are paired. If I'm watching TV or just sitting around relaxing, this is my treat of the night. Then my last meal is usually something simple. And honestly, like because Monday through Friday are so busy, it's usually one of these guys, rotisserie chickens, right? How hard is it to go to Sobeys, Superstore, Safeway, or in this case, Costco, and pick up one of these Sobeys chickens? I'll usually pair it with the kale salad, and then I always have a treat. So the treat right now is in the air fryer. It's the French fries, or as we call them, the papa fritas. So there we have it, FitFam. Meal planning, meal prepping, it's not that confusing, it's not that difficult. You can get results and enjoy your food too. All this, I can prepare this all under 20 minutes. If I can do it, you can 100% do it. So bon appetit. Thanks guys for tuning in and thanks Coach RJ for showing us what one day's worth of meal prep would look like. Thanks guys for tuning in, I'll see you next week. Bye guys.